file this on their shit. They don't tell you when you're fucking 20 or nobody knows when you're fucking 18 or 22. I have had two conversations this week with people at the very top of their game. One was a gentleman who worked in a West Coast city, a bit of a friend of mine, new friend, just retiring from being what's called a master rigger in construction, building huge skyscrapers and so forth. The rigger is the person who uh, attaches the chains and shit that go on the crane and, and when they're moving shit on a job site. A master rigger is the one who oversees it all and so forth. And among the trades, master rigger is one of the very highest, if not the highest paid of all the trades. And this gentleman was retiring and I asked him, I said, you know, what would you do differently if you had a chance to do it all over again? And uh, he says, you know, it's funny you bring that up, Sven. And so this was the first conversation I had. And the second one was with a uh, female surgeon about 50 years old. And uh, so it's interesting what they had to say. I said, what to this guy, what would you do if you had a chance to do it over again? He says, well, you know, Sven, there's so many people talking nowadays about, oh, don't fucking go to college. And you know, you're gonna walk out with all this debt. Um, and ironically, with my own kids, they didn't have a lot of debt, and what debt they had, they worked their asses off to pay off, and they felt really good about it. But I didn't have a college degree, Sven. I went uh, into the trades, became a rigger, and then a master rigger, and I had a great living. I had a great life, was able to provide for my family, had a good home, and et cetera, et cetera. He said, but it, if I were to do it over again, on one hand, I wouldn't do it differently, but on the other hand, I would. I said, well, why is that? He says, Sven, because everything has a price. It's just that when you go to college or you go to med school or you become a you know, psychologist or whatever, you pay on the front end, you take on that debt on the front end, that's your price. But the price on the back end is, is my work. My price is on the back end. I said, what do you mean? He said, very often, you know, people who go into the trades pay a price. If you're working with your body, very often the price is the price on your body. He says, a lot of guys in my profession, a lot of women too, but a lot of guys in my profession, if you're down on your knees laying carpet, your knees fucking are taking a beating. If you're lifting things and, and moving around and you're physical, a lot of times it's the back or it's the knees or it's the hip or it's, uh, you know, he says, you know, Sven, there are guys uh, who, and women too, who work uh, doing the insulation into high rises and shit. What do you think's getting into their fucking lungs, Sven? Yeah, they make a good living. They make hellacious cash. But what do you think the price is? And I thought about that. He says, so, you know, the, every career has a price. Every path has a price, a sacrifice that has to be made, multiple sacrifices. And I thought about that in the second conversation I had with this uh, female surgeon. She said, Sven, you know, yeah, I took on a lot of debt, college, medical school, et cetera, residency, all that shit. She said, um, and that was part of the price, but massive payoff. People see where I'm at in my career now, and you know, I have a good life, a very good life. I make a handsome living and so on and so forth. She said, but there's another price in my work, and the price isn't just what's at the front end, the, the money which gets paid off. I pay a price during. I said, what's that? She says, I'm in surgery six hours or six days a week. What do you think the fucking price is on my family? What do you think the price has been on my two marriages because of my fucking work schedule? It's the nature of the beast. And so the question becomes, when we're young, you may say, well, if I take this particular career, or if I don't go to college, or if I do go to college, I'll have to eat this cost, or if I don't go to college, I'll have money right away. But every trajectory in life comes with sacrifices, comes with a price. And so if you're being complete about examining your career trajectory, or it can be applied to relationships or anything else, if you're being complete and thorough and deliberate in examining the trajectory of your life, you have to look at where the price is paid and are you willing to pay the price? Does the gain from this particular career, let's say, outweigh the price of having to have a, a total knee or a total hip put in when I'm 55, potentially? Or uh, I've got friends who are cops. I grew up very, very blue collar and on our block, four of us, there were four of us best friends, two of us went in the military and the other two guys became cops. And in case of both the cops, I remember them saying to me, Sven, police work, it's a young man's game. At least being a, a officer on patrol. He says, it's a young man's game, man. It's high energy shit and you gotta stay in shape and it gets old. Once you start having a family and shit like that, the idea of being shot at and shit like that, sure there's the adrenaline, but it's like, fuck, I got kids, man. You know, it comes at a price. Right, and, they, and what these two guys were saying is, Sven, if you, you know, so maybe you then want to be a sergeant or maybe you want to move up to lieutenant, and who usually gets those jobs? Not just the people who do their work well, but very often, not always, very often, it's the people who have the college degrees. 
So it's just interesting. It's an interesting conversation of, oh, fuck college because it costs money or fuck the trades. I don't want to work that hard. Everything has a price. What's the price you're willing to pay? And does the benefit of your particular career field outweigh the price that you are going to pay either at the beginning, in the middle, or at the end? Some good questions. Have a kick-ass day.